Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to give each element a unique ID. We will want to be able to use jQuery to target each button with its unique ID. Give each of your buttons a unique ID starting with target 1 and ending with target 6. Make sure that target 1 to target 3 are in the left well and target 4 to target 6 are in the right well. One button element should have the ID of target 1. Okay, cool. Basically get the idea of this. We're going to want to say this is um, target 1, target 2, target 3, target 4, target 5, target 6. And uh, so yeah, uh, again, as always, I'm just, well, I don't know. Yeah, I want to do it this way. I like being able to see the code. Um, if this is annoying you, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Don't worry about my videos. Okay, check it out. Um, now that the buttons are pretty easy, we, we know we want to give them a unique ID. Make sure, okay, give each of you a unique ID starting with target one. So target one, here we're going to want to go I, um, ID is equal to uh, target one. And then I'm just going to come in here, copy this, and then just bang it out. Now, I know that they all have target one right now, but we're already 90% of the way, so I can just go six, five, four, three, two. And if we run the test, they should pass. So yeah, why do I do this? Why do I separate the buttons out? I think that it makes it super easy when I can tell that these are where my ID selectors are for the buttons because I've separated the code out and put it all into individual lines. Uh, we know we could be like one and then uh, two, and we can already start filling it in. It makes it easier to work with, and we, we were working with uh, you know code that's easier to write. And so yeah, doing that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to pass the test, but I think that it makes sense when you're writing programs to try to make sure your code looks great all the time. This is easy code to work on. Uh, if we take it down like this, it would be, I mean, this looks to me like it's not as easy to work on, right? Because where do these start? Why are the buttons there? I mean, you could pull it out to here, but uh, it makes sense for me to do it this way. Um, so yeah, we're on the test, they pass. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.